These were some of the best highlights from the Rumble stage of LPL Summer 2024 matchup between Team WE and TT. Three, now without flashes to disengage, they need to be very, very careful of that with double AD carries uh, and the Sejuani Braum. If Seven you get especially considering there's going to be a couple minutes before an objective fight might be required. Top side we look instead though. Wayward in danger, goal cards and uh, sidestep some of the damage. Wayward about to get potentially... Chunked out a bit further. The turnaround is pretty big. Out comes the exhaust. Hoyer in danger. Remember, has no flash. Stranglethorns come on through. First blood goes towards the TF. Marcus roamed on up. Yan Chang saved by a grand entrance. And TT fumble the play topside. Oh my word. Missing that Top ultimate. Sidestep dodges out on that ultimate. Beitron misses the W2. It's a nightmare start for Beitron going back into the mid lane. Speaking of nightmares, now Wayward gets to take that lead elsewhere. Beitron is here though. Turns it potentially around, but again, it's just too late. And that is a problem. Huge problem because Wayward just got kills in his yeah, lane. That's to, to force inside lanes. Plate number two claim down there. Yan Chiang here for another lane. Gan to Gan. We did see work out so well. Hoya. Lightning rush away, but flash into the E means Hoya's got nowhere to go. Cannot rocket belt out of the strangle thorns. And Wayward gets another while the grubs were being considered by TT. Gonna be a lot harder to do now. The rookie jungler is having huge impact on this early game. The first two strangled forms of the game and also showcasing what are the changes that came through to Zara. You can E flash coming through. They might need to try and survive here though. They don't have that ultimate anymore. Flash on in for the quickness. Gets onto the brawn but the turnaround is pretty big. Flash E to get some turnaround and buy some arrow. Coming down from downtown as well as Yanchan goes down. A one for one right now. Teleports flying on in base one. Could use a step on forward. Culling is dangerous. WE in a dangerous position themselves. Not quite dead to the double tap from Ucal who just cannot find lethal damage damage this game. TT are so close to turning it around in a big fight, but they only take one kill out of that. That is disaster for TT. Again, the Hoya- Grubs were somewhat taken by the Zyra picking up one, but it's still going to be the dragon stacking stopped by TT. There's still a couple of version of Abel, uh, which played in that fan favorite OMG roster. Um, just wait for the arrow. Gonna wait for that arrow Wait, oh, lads! Again. That's huge! Big stun! Doesn't get it. Finally, get the exhaust does come on through just about in time. The turn rank can still be pretty huge here. The gold guard comes on down. Wayward trying to throw as much damage as he can before he's in danger. Another stun will shortly be available for Hoya if he can get it in here. Beitron looking to see whether we get in, but he is too late. And the Glacial Prison will not be in aiming them at Wayward over and over and over again. Doesn't save the tower, though. Wayward will be able to stick around for this, you would imagine. Can't quite clear the minions in time, and Wayward... Burns the summoner, but sticks around, holds down his nerve. Gets rid of that flash, but doesn't stop him getting that turret. Doesn't. Fofo is going to be trading up with Yukal. Both junglers are here. Barrier comes on down. Damage is pretty good, but overcomes Feather and Mark as well. Can maybe look to turn this around. Glacial Prison comes on through. Lands onto Fofo. Yan Chiang now in danger. Flashing out of top of the passive will land onto the Zyra. And we know what plants do in winter. They wither and they die as Hoyas teleport and a slicing maelstrom secure the skill. Finally, TC sold back. Onto Hoyer, importantly, uh, which means that maybe he can contest the individual matchup against Wayward a little bit more. It uh, does mean that Wayward has used his ultimate towards mm. that top side. Yeah, it means he's not really going to be here to stop this dragon going on down as 1XN throws out the Ranger's focus and will rapidly burn that particular neutral objective down. Herald summoned in mid lane by the side of WE who want to try and force through this. They will, and I think they will be able to. There's no real big engage on the other side. One extend can look for the arrow. arrow lands it onto Mark. Not the best target. Glacial Prison afterwards is onto Mark again, and it just CCs him for a bit. There's no real way to get to the backside. As he goes on, it takes a huge chunk of damage. Page one just about alive. One XM being chugged out as the Strangle Thorns came on down. Wayward gets a tier one topside all the while as well. So W end up breaking. Wayward doesn't want to walk up to, to Hoyer, mm. um, which is fair. He does have a death cap. A lot of damage if he puts the exhaust down. That's fine, but it's now not going to be on you, Cal, who can start to do this. Can they get out in time? No, they cannot. And they bring down the TF who knew there was something going on, but still face checks regardless. Double summoners and the shutdown going over. And his Braum's ult. Make sure no Baron sneak shenanigans occur. That's pretty good news for Thunder Talk who get themselves that important shut them, get themselves yeah. Side against it, not quite having enough information. Hoya is on the flank now, but so is Wayward. Hoya with the flag. Abel, Abel's Abel made a mistake. Oh, oh my god. Days. Phase one now being jumped. They've tried to turn it around themselves. Good angle from WE. They get onto the Sejuani, and it's going to be roast pork for breakfast. But why didn't Hoya pull the trigger? Abel had no flash, no cleanse, and Hoya could have gone in with the ult. That feels like a massive mistake from the top laner of TT. Baron's now going to go down. Hoya's looking for the flag. Okay. 
Here we can go. We can get over the wall. They need to get a gold card onto him now. Wayman in danger. Baron goes down into the back line of the Baron pit. They go. They're all so low. They're in danger. Three dead already. Fofo and Abel must escape. Double lady carries in dangerous feather. And Hoya flash over the wall. Making sure so there are no cons. And Abel with a lot of HP and double buffs though. Could still win this fight potentially for them. They're going to be allowed to reset. Hoya, you... Which one got caught out the last time. This time around though is... Holding on to the last available moment. Gets on in here. Wayward looking for the angle. Feather now spotting things out. Flash on to the cannon. Dragon Soul secured. Cannon down already though. Could prove problematic. Feather and the rest of Thunder Talk now trying to back away. Based on Arctic Assault to try to get safety. As the volley slows prove problematic. Base run clearing out the wave here. Kind of aware might well be dead. And so he's trying to make the shove afterwards as problematic as possible. <laughs> he's got the cloud boom his feet, but I don't think it's going to be enough. He's trying to Fly, run as fast as he can. Fly, this boar is trying to get some wings. Turns out pigs really can fly if you ask them to nicely enough. This one's flying straight towards the Gary oh. screen, though. Wayward. Then she was going to get all in by 1xn there, but uh, he thinks better of it, not having that cleanse. And TT, they get themselves soul at the cost of two. They do, and there's no Baron or anything to take here, and because base one cleared out the wave, not very easy for them to get a wave in before respawns are here. Slow to prove pretty problematic as Wayward hit with the culling, and Chiang as well, taken pretty low after that one, but no one dead. You, Cal, just about okay. Worried he was going to be in danger there, but not going to be there as the Baron has also timed out, so there shouldn't be too much more on the. Fofo might be able to combo up with Wayward's gold card immediately, though that's going to be the top. That's how going down. Wayward might have to leave Fofo the Fofo's double teleport. Fofo's in danger, he's dead. Can't get the TP out, and that'll be Fofo going down, but it means everyone there could be problematic, but with the Cloud Rift zones, Baron is actually quite hard to start up before people get here in time. Hoya just ends up teleporting towards mid as well. They want to keep forcing. There's no ultimate here now from the cannon, but maybe TT can force a fight again. They have that Cloud Soul. Much easier for them to run forwards and find targets. Yeah, and of course, you've lost so much of your damage. Fofo has no TP and is dead for another 40 seconds. They can start a Baron with that man advantage and feel a lot happier about it. TT have zero ultimates, though, is the big problem. They have Yuka's ultimate, but no big engage. Because of that, it makes things a lot more difficult to, to value that uh, cleanse for the rest of his teammates. You can see Infinity Edge is completed for 1xn and Yukal, all right, if the arrow misses, the regular auto attacks will do a lot of work at this point of the game. Arrow afterwards goes wide with dodged away from. Yukal culling on the back line. Stranglethorn's disengaged. Wayward looking for the gold card. Gets it onto Yukal. Golden now is Wayward! Boyer! Slicing Maelstrom from the gods! Gets two! And the rest of the team is immediately eviscerated! They are static shocked down as the Greek god of thunder. It feels like he's here to play. What an ultimate in from Hoya. What a flash. How did WWE fall apart that quickly? They let the cannon get into the back line. Wayward couldn't get his maximum value out of that fight. And Hoya wins the game for Thunder Talk. Wow, they ended up uh, putting themselves a very topical champion up there to the top lane to seal out this win. It was back and forth. They let the TF get ahead, but they did not let him end the game. Nexus falling in favor of TT. Huge, huge moment there for Thunder Talk, who claim a fantastic team fight win. Wayward went forwards. He tried to get onto Yukal, and he meant he was out of position, not there to exhaust, and suddenly... Okay, is that Varus top? I think we're getting... Okay, so we're getting one of two things. Varus top or Lucian top. Um, what I would imagine the Ezreal has to say in, in, like, in, in both our games. One in top lane, both two in mid lane, one in, and two in bot lane as well. This is absolutely ridiculous. And like Even TF is, is, is an honorary AD carry. Well, that's what I'm saying, because yeah. that, that's part of the five in that first game. Like, it's AD TF. He is an AD carry at that point, so... Yeah, the virus is much more on the traditional side, but both of our games today, we've had five AD carries. Sure, this role is completely fine, folks. This oh, class of champion oh, yeah. is completely fine. <laughs> this is miserable. I can't. I don't have level six. I can't walk up here. There's a control ward in the bush. Wayward can potentially just... Yeah, he can still throw oh out the chains God. of corruption. There's just nowhere to go. Yeah, and if he has the W, oh, if he has the no. W arrow, this oh, is looking pretty bad. Boy, there's potential flash available. Megan are going to be a little ways off. That was a flash on forward for the Q. And Wayward just doesn't miss. Throws out a Cassante emo. He knows he's been a Giga Chad this game. Yeah, WE played around Wayward so heavily in spring to allow him that lane advantage. TT, they need that. That's a great double root. Gets the double root, and that will be a double kill, surely being delivered to Yukal's waiting arms. What except doesn't even get any kill participation? It's like, ah, okay, yeah, Yukal, you can get this one. Ults one. through the next <laughs> one as well. Uh, yeah, you can see that. You know, what except doesn't even look to that uh, last I don't know, like, uh, oh, God, I don't know. Uh, I was going to say Qui-Gon Jinn and like Obi-Wan Kyukal. It doesn't work very well. <laughs> They're really trying. Wayward, no flash. There is a chance of a big play here. That's another good route. Wayward in danger, but remember, has no flash. Likely to be put under the dirt here. 
Late one might be traded back as Yanxiang comes on out, but a flash away keeps him alive just for now. But Yanxiang flashes in turn and makes it the one for one. But Wayward falling is important. So CT, they run the blockade. They get towards top side and they get themselves past that blockade of WE to get themselves something into Hoyer's lane. It means that Wayward can't get himself alongside the rest of WE. will lose the Gromp. Plants can't secure that even on the retreat. And now they're trying to set up the blockade oh, again. Hoya once again, like, he didn't even kill that ward there. Oh, Hoya, they did so much work oh, for him. On. They're going to be the rest of TT turning up trying to defend this. Gets the pulverize into the strangle thorns. It's still four members, though. And there's no plants really to do lots of damage. Yukal not coming on over. They're caught between so many turrets. Mark will likely fall, but can he keep the rest of his members alive? Wayward stepping forward. The hyper proc's nearly there. There'll be Mega now coming as well. Hoya could do so much work. Yukal gets that one. They go way too far to try and punish this now. Massive strangle thoughts from the Jedi of the jungle. Obey Chuan Kenobi <laughs> gets himself so much DPS with the increased enraged plants as they get a huge amount of DPS over. And that means uh, the Padawan at the mid lane, Yukal, comes through really, from really fast and allows you to cross different bits of terrain, much like a bard can do that for his team. So Yukal getting himself in a point of power, he can push in lanes and get himself onto the map very, very quickly is something that W needs to be really, really wary of. The grubs are going down. WE, they need to now go into this big disengage comp. Nah, phase one getting jumped on, Solar Flare lands into the Zenith Blade afterwards, could make that Zyra very, very afraid, but the bullet time disengaged as well, Hoya tries to get the backside, Abel will get away, but it'll still be Wayward who goes down, vengeance for the lane, the team fights that much harder to execute, plants are everywhere as well at this point, as base one puts that one down, finally Feather falls, Fofo picks that one up, the culling blocked by the various bits of foliage. Another route lands. Yanxiang in danger. Wall ride from Yukal. Barrier available. Hoya hopping on forwards. Fofo looking to maybe hunt over the wall. Will not be able to jump in to get more. Big fight for Thunder Talk. And it's once again double <laughs> strangle thorns. Kill that one. Uh, strangle thorns a forced choke in that oh. one or two. As TT go towards the dragon. Start again playing around their photosynthesizing friends. I find your... Lack of plant-based puns disturbing as we find an engage on some mark. Uh, who will be on the wrong end of the mark, I suppose, is trying to get out of danger. Dragon started. WE sort of here to contest. Yeah. They almost had their own saver in this one, too. They could have had themselves a Luke. They have themselves close enough to the mark. Hamill instead. Oh. Basically the same thing, but he's not going to be able to just defend Ooh. this themselves. Dragon going down. Colin comes on through. Gets Feather to half HP, but really that's all there is to write home about. Plants continue to be very obnoxious at this point as Beijuan picks up a couple items. Feather down 20% HP now. Probably has to be a little bit wary on this Alistair. I found, I found what TT's mid lane is. You have Ob Oh, that's going to be the oh, ultimate no. through bait. Oh, oh. Feather has his ult too. Oh. Not going to be that much, but you know, luckily, you know, you have Obe Chuan Kenobi. Oh, yeah. game shows the growth that they've had as a team. Go back and watch some of their side lane play from the first round, Robin. Um, it, was pretty. it was really, really bad. The fact that they managed to save Hoya from what could have been a very cruel and unusual fate here against the Varus is very, very important. Now this is going to be the cross map from TT taking down first turret of the game in top side. Gold spread between Beitron and Yukal. Again, that uh, very um, powerful duo here going in for a second charge dun, dun, now. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Comes landing on it. I don't know why that's the theme tune I've decided for the Herald charge, but just every so, time I see it, it happens. I'm not going to lie. I'm not even sure what that theme I'm tune was. I'm pretty sure it's from when the... You know when Lancelot is running towards oh. the castle in du Monty Python's Holy Grail? Du 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 That's probably a larger pop cultural impact than Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Go watch that anyway. It's great. Fantastic yeah. movie. Very much enjoy that one as... Uh, I don't know, I don't really know yeah, to follow I, that one, I, but I, yeah, I've go do it. has an X in front of their name, I, I start making those references. Neurons makes activated. Exactly. So this time, W are forcing onto Yukal on the bot side. You don't really want to be going in towards that Zeri with the barrier, Flash, and Alt with six kills behind them. Fofo is going to get the gold from the side lane's hurt, though. They Have they gone too far, though? Hoya has Mega Knight. It's good Ooh, timing boy, for him. This could be very scary. Fofo has just dashed, does have the Flash, maybe forced to burn it very early here. He's in a pretty tricky position, doesn't Flash quite yet. The follow-up CC is brutal. Ignites on him, and the chain lightning claims the life of him. The solar flare, not quite in time. Yukal flashes in. They finally goes down, but the damage surely is done. Wayward nearly takes Feather on the way as Base One flashes to get more cues, more autos. One extend is nearly here. What time is it? He says. Time for some bullets, you imagine. But he's yet to pop the ultimate. I'm forced to hold my breath. Does get one back. Feather goes down by the corner of the turret as the plants keep spawning. Where's your weed killer? W.E. Because Thunderdork claim the entire team. It's as if a million voices cried out and we're suddenly silenced. The super weapon of the misfortune ultimate just comes in to clean up. 
These uh, the rebel base and there's this bot lane turret. TT they get themselves a full team ace before 18 such minutes. Such high base damage and the fact that the rest of his team jam manages to clear up one beyond this point. But that is that is not the same as the flanking guard. The flanking virus is not it. And the chain's corruption landed onto Yuka. Otherwise he'd have been able to free fire yeah. a bit more. And then finally. They were ready and willing to fire, and uh, Alderaan falls here in the bot lane. <laughs> okay, so TT look to see if they can once again fly themselves into the position here and see if they can get themselves forced. That's a big Varisol already used, but not really getting that much out of it. Big cooldown used. They are going to be around this dragon. Be so point for TT, and the plants are all in line. I just don't know how easy it's going to be break through. The Stranglethorns come on through. Feather into the back line with a headbutt, and the pulverizer is somewhat interrupted. In goes Hoya with a double to crunch to get into the back line as the transformation comes on through, and Yanchian is put to the sword. Or I suppose the bold one. There's no turret to play around. Wayward gets one. Fofo's going to try and TP out. Flash! Crunch! And a wallet brings down what Fofo was trying to do. No teleport to safety. Oh, and sadly, Abel, the last remaining messenger. Not to worry, still flying half a T-Punk team comp, I guess. Even less than that as four members hit the ground. TT have blasted WE off the map around these dragons and around the bot side. Considering that the virus was meant to be so far ahead and Hoyer yeah. is making these plays, Hoyer is 100% my MVP for this game so far. I know Keeping that the you... Rank pit. That could be the boomerang oh, instead. We have right. new and Willop, we're like, we're like, like, <laughs> no, it's just like, no, we're Willop's so the rank four on Nunu's like a mini boba. Wayward's coming in, oh, maybe trying on. to catch up Beta, oh, and he doesn't dear. have flash, and suddenly TT are not here. Yeah, but Yuka's coming on down, Feather tends up so much time, and now on the back end, Wayward's in danger, gets knocked up, tries to get something back, but already two members are dead, and of course it's 1XN who picks them up. He may fire when ready one more time, this by team comp is fully operational. Three dead already. And Yan Xiang and Fofo will be left alive to try and rebuild what remains what? of the rebel base. What, 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 are, what are we doing teleporting in as Varus? Wait, Wait buddy! This one has been domination from TT and WE throwing themselves into the jaws of the enemy. And three item misfortune with a rapid fire cannon to get those love taps coming on through. Even those incidental autos now will really start to sting on people. It's got so many ways to just throw down that bit of poke. The Zeri W, the plants from the Zyra. Misfortune waiting for those rapid fire options and making it rain. Evil C taking 10% of his HP bar just off some of those very, very low effort poke options from TT. And you know what? TT, normally I would trust them to play out a lane dominant style for Wayward because Wayward is a lane dominant top laner. He plays towards snowballing through his lane. The fact that he got shut down was, oh, oh God, but it's just not had the impact he wanted to. And ult does go wide. Oh boy, Stranglethorns come on through and Abel of all people is the one who's caught up on top of the mark now in danger. Bullet time comes flying across everyone. Wayward has to flash away, but Yukal's now in the backside of them all. There was always Always another member, always two there are. And AD carries in this game will be the Sith Lords, perhaps, as TT match on into the base. And it's uh, Thunder Talk marching their way in for an inhibitor at 24 minutes with the Baron still remaining. They might even push for more. Fofo has flash. Yangshian has flash. Looks like TT and they're not, well, maybe they are looking for the end. They're at least looking for minimum two inhibitors. Wipe them out. All of them, the inhibitors are under siege. Two of them fall, one remains, but I don't think the rest of the base will be standing like all a that. very alternate universe at the Star Wars. <laughs> right? We said that Wayward was somehow the Dark Lord of the Sith that is on the Rebel team now, so who knows? Great blue drink to spot out. Oh, what no. could have been a comeback play for W. Now the problem is they've overextended, looking for that fanatic brush. Fofo trying to teleport away. He won't be stopped in this one. Ooh, no, not quite, but Mark will still fall down. Fofo loses half his HP bar, but stays alive. Fofo, much like that first game, gets himself just out of the jaws of this uh, team comp from TT, but it doesn't save them. It's still Ocean Soul from TT. It's still them pushing in for more and more, getting themselves likely a last inhibitor. W, what have they got left in the tank? What do they have in the tank to begin with? Who knows? It's looking a little bit limited. Maybe they have got a hope and a prayer, but it'll have to be some absolute magic. Yanshia has caught in between the base gates. He's being jumped on by Hoya. It's a Star Destroyer versus a very paltry troop transport at this point. What are you before the full might of the Empire? Hoya continues to auto down the... the uh, Cougar in the jungle. Yeah, call him the Tanty for the way that one went. He gets oh, ran boy. down as the bullet time comes out once again. All weapon Ooh. systems online. Mark goes down as well, and that'll be it. The Nexus falls. Death Star is primed and ready to bring TT to a clean 2-0 victory. It is...
These were some of the best highlights from the Rumble stage of LPL Summer 2024 matchup between Team WE and TT. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.